Ah, spokes. They can be such a pain in the butt at times, eh? I can almost guarantee you, anyone that's owned a dirt bike has dealt with broken or seized up spokes at some point. So what I'm gonna show you is how to prevent that from happening. Here I've got a wheel off the bike to help demonstrate how to keep up on your spoke maintenance. So hang tight. The first thing I'm gonna discuss is tightening your spokes. Obviously it's super important since the biggest reason why spokes break is because they're too loose. And as far as the spokes seizing on the nipple here in the threads, primarily that's due to people not tightening their spokes frequently enough. And I see it all the time on bikes that come through. Half the spokes or more will be seized up. You go try to tighten the spoke and the whole thing will turn. Not a problem you want to have. So when you're riding or washing your bike, water gets down here in the threads. And pair that with not tightening your spokes that often and eventually all your spokes will be seized up. If you're riding quite a bit, I'd recommend tightening your spokes at least once a month. And if you have the time to do it, if you want to get busy, you can pull all your spoke nipples off and throw anti-seize or waterproof grease on the threads. You shouldn't have a problem with seized up spokes anymore if you do that. So the process I use for tightening spokes evenly without having to retrue the wheel is I'll start at a hole in the rim this one we're going to start at the hole with a plug in it so that way I have something to refer to. And your first spoke here, give it a quarter turn, skip two spokes, tighten this one, skip two, tighten, skip two, tighten all the way around until you come back to this hole. And then start at the second spoke, same process, skip two, tighten, skip two, tighten all the way around back to the hole and then go to your third one, your third spoke. So skip two, same process. And by the time you made it around on the third revolution, you will have hit every single spoke. An easy way to tell if your spokes are loose is by using the sound test. Here's a tight spoke and here's a loose spoke. You can obviously hear the sound difference. The loose spoke has a dead sound to it. The correct torque spec on these spokes is 35 inch pounds, which really isn't a whole lot. And that number should be universal for most bikes with aluminum spoke nipples like this one. So the process I use, I'll hit every spoke twice using the same pattern I showed you earlier until it passes the sound test. Basically you want a teeing out of the spoke when you hit it with a spoke wrench. Just like that. Obviously the right way to do it is to use a spoke torque wrench but if you don't have one, this process will get you through just fine. Now if you've got seized up threads where you go try to tighten the spoke and the whole spoke turns, a good way to fix that is with vice grips. So get a good grip on your spoke here and lock it against the spoke that's next to it. And then you can take your spoke wrench and turn it back and forth until it frees up. Sometimes you'll have spokes that'll snap, but I've noticed most of the time this frees up the threads pretty good. One last thing I want to show you is applying anti-seize or grease to your threads. You can just thread your spoke nipple all the way out until your threads are exposed. Now if you've got a tire still mounted on your wheel, you don't want to thread the nipple all the way off just until you have access to the threads here. And now apply some anti-seize lubricant like this stuff right here to the threads. And thread your spoke nipple back on. Alrighty guys, that'll do it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.